We first walked on this property in the summer of 2013. In uh, early summer of 2014, we began uh, removing uh, the red pine trees for our golf course. There are two potential uh, federally endangered species on the property, so we had to survey for those before we uh, disturbed uh, the ground. So that's when I first uh, met, met the uh, DNR. My first impression with uh, the Kaisers, Michael, um, the developer of Sand Valley, was that their approach was much different on the golf course, how they wanted to develop. They find the landscape first, and then they do very little to change that landscape, and they put a course on the natural landscape. We look at sites all over the, the world and, and pick sites based off of uh, their natural beauty and the topography. This is just a very unique landscape ecologically. I mean, this was the bottom of a glacial lake, so we have all this sand, and, and you know, most of the Midwest is not like this. So that makes it a very unique landscape, and we have some very unique species, both plants and animals here because of that. We have everything from the moccasin flower, to Blazing Star, to Tickweed, to Black Eye Susan. We really fell in love with the restoration process, uh, so much so that we've purchased an additional 7,000 acres that we are restoring in partnership with the DNR uh, to create a privately owned park open to the public. It'll have bird watching, cross country skiing, snowshoeing, mountain biking, horseback riding, hiking. It's going far beyond uh, the boundaries of the golf resort. The DNR has been an active uh, partner to us and to this restoration. Consistently from the beginning, they have presented us with creative uh, ways um, of restoring this landscape. It was putting them in touch uh, with the right people, the right staff specialists to make it go quickly and for them to share the accurate information uh, to keep the project moving forward on a timeline that fit their needs and ours. I'm excited for them, and I'm excited for the community, and I'm excited to be able to go back there. It's always going to be there and continue to get better and better and better. So we're not walling this off. I mean, we want people to experience this. We've fallen in love with this landscape, and we want to do our, our best to, to bring it back as close to what it was, you know, 150 years ago in the state of Wisconsin.